guys and welcome back to another lippy review so we're doing another one from Tarte in their maracuja juicy line this is the maracuja juicy lip plump in the color of poppy and i was informed by multiple people with the last product from this line you know i think that one was just like the regular either tinted lip balm or lip gloss that i applied it wrong and not to swipe but to like dot it on so we're gonna try that with this one see if i have a better experience because <laughs> yeah i wouldn't doubt that it was maybe user error on that last one but anyway so this stuff retails for 24 dollars a pop ouch but it's tart so kind of come to expect that it contains 2.7 grams or i'm trying to read it i just don't want to focus on that small 0 0.095 ounces, so a very small amount in there, I think. Yeah, that's a small amount. I was like, it's either a small amount or it's almost an ounce, and then I was like, no, it's a small amount. So it's this pretty rose gold color for the tube, but then the cap is white, and so is the butt end of it that you click to get it to come up. So. It's cut kind of rough and a little divot for some reason. Like, it looks fine, I'm sure, um, if it'll even pick up on camera that there's anything there. There you go. Um, but when you run your finger over, it's kind of rough. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm not going to dock any points for it. It feels weighty, but I have a feeling most of that is just the packaging itself, given how little product is in there. Uh, but yeah, so these are very much synthetic, not organic. The ingredients list is so itty bitty on that. I'm not sure I can read it, but I will try. Uh, but I may struggle, so, because it's awfully small. Uh, yeah, no, there ain't no way in hell. I'm sorry. I'm like trying to focus my eyes, and it's like, they're not. <laughs> so, look on the Tarte website. The ingredients are there, but it's not organic. So, anyway. It's not part of a set, but it is part of a line, although you probably, I'm sure it must have been in some type of lip kit at this point. You could probably find it in that, too. Um, it's not limited edition, despite what the shiny packaging would lead you to think. No SPF, no medication, no special features. It is just tinted, and it's already elevated for some reason like that. Don't know why, I have not clicked the button. The slight, slight coconutty vanilla scent. So yeah, a little, little nervous about that. But let me do a quick swatch on the back of my hand. One swipe gets us pigment like that. Very pretty. And then is it buildable? Ooh, it is. But um, yeah, even just the very, very small amount of pressure on my hand made it get goopy. So. The difference between built up versus just one dot. So let me try to be like uber careful in attempting to apply it here. Okay. Let me turn up that light a little. Now this one is supposed to be a lip plumper, not just a tinted lip product, so I'm waiting for any kind of tingling to happen. So far I'm not feeling anything. Like their website kind of bragged like three minutes to juicier plumper lips. So... We'll see. The teeny tiny bit I got inside my mouth is tingling my tongue. Or whatever that's worth. Yeah, I got a much better application process doing it as teeny tiny little dobby dabs on there. But yeah, it's still not the greatest to use just because of how soft it is it wants to mush up even when you're using like zero pressure so that's not great but 
at least it doesn't feel like I smushed pudding all over my mouth this time. It's very pretty. I like that a lot, actually. And I will give it a few minutes to see if it's going to do anything while I go wash this off my hands. So, BRB. Okay, so I went and washed that off my hand, and I must say I'm having good feelings about the longevity of this product, given how hard a time I had just washing it off my hand. Uh, the part where I only swiped once, um, that part came off easily, but where I built it up, that kind of stained. I had to even like dig in with my nail to try to scrape it off, and I feel like there's still a slightly pinkish mark left behind, so... Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to actually stay put this time through the dream test when we get there. But as for the tingling, uh, it never got like intense or anything. At most, it kind of reminded me of like that one Carmex, what was it, like Winter Mint or something? There was one that I really liked for like how nice and cool the tingling felt on it, like when I would like talk. So as air would move across it, it would activate. This is just like that one. Because I think part of the reason I wasn't feeling anything before was it was kind of before I was like talking, talking. Once I started getting to talking once it was on and it had been on for like a minute, now I feel it. But I mostly feel it as I speak. So for whatever that's worth to you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, as for does it look like it did any pumping? I'm actually gonna say yes. I know I don't have the whole side-by-side -side technology to give you, but you guys know what my mouth looks like, and honestly, that to me, more that I spilled in my shirt earlier, uh, that to me looks like it actually did a thing slightly. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually really impressed, since usually the only ones that I've really noticed actually do a thing are the ones that have the int intense intense tingling to where it's almost painful or is painful sometimes those i'll typically see it with because it's irritating everything so damn much into swelling up a little but this one it doesn't feel like that it kind of just feels like the minty rush from like eating a peppermint patty just on your lips instead of in your mouth although if you get a little bit of it in your mouth it's there too um so it's like that but it's actually doing a thing and i'm very impressed by that and the color is gorgeous. Um, the actual consistency itself is a lot better now that I applied it in a better way. So thank you to each person who suggested that. Uh, there were several of you. Thank you. Um, but I still take issue with just that really soft, mushy consistency. Like, if they could just firm it up even the tiniest bit, it would be so much nicer, wouldn't it, guys? And like, if they can't do that... Then turn it into a product that has a brush applicator on the end and just have a squeeze it out. Like, one or the other, like, there's definitely a better way of doing that. But anyway, between that and, like, the clicky pen thing on the bottom that is impossible to push back down because it'll just smush everywhere. There is no getting it back in the thing. Yeah, you better be damn certain when you roll it up that you want it rolled up. Which is just... My only nerve-wracking about thinking ever putting that in a purse and anything potentially bumping into it, granted, it is a very, very slow clicker and it only moves like a fraction of a hair with each click, probably because of exactly that, but it is still something to be aware of. So, it has like a nice shiny finish, we can all see that. Feels really good, honestly kind of feels just like a lip gloss more than anything. We are going to go ahead and do the drink test. Uh, I can already tell you right now it will transfer, but I have a light mug here that you'll be able to see just how much it'll transfer into as soon as I sip, as well as whether or not it'll hold up to the drink test, or if the tingling will activate more with the drink test, because sometimes that happens too. But usually it's like either or, like either it's activated by water or it's activated by air, and I think this one's air, but let's find out. Oh, yeah, so very much transfers, <laughs> uh, but stayed on, though, transfer or not, but no complaints there. I don't think it really activated any extra getting it wet, so I think I was correct in my guess that it's either or. But yeah, I'll still give this one the wow factor, I think, so let me think. 
I do feel this is an overpriced product at $24 pop for this. You get so little product in there and the payoff, it just, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like a fair trade in my opinion. There was more product in here, especially for how big this is. There could easily be more in there. I would understand, but there's not. So that already makes me take pause right there. As well as that clicky mechanism being impossible to push it back down because of the formula, as well as the soft formula itself that just smushes everywhere, especially if you don't know what you're doing. But even if you do, it kind of still does it. That's a point against it. It does transfer like a beast. Uh, but that said, I think I would still give this a 6 out of 10, which is still above average. I still like this. I like it a lot. It'll probably make it onto my monthly favorites because I love the color of this. I love how it makes my lips look and feel. So it'll probably still be a favorite, just in terms of a number rating. Yeah, only a six. <laughs> I, I'm still hoping to see better from the Maracuja Juicy Lip Line, but we shall see. So anyway. That is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.